you doing today? My name's Eric. As always, I really appreciate you taking the time to check out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make Keto Smoked Pork Egg Roll Bowl. Now, my last video, I'll leave a link below, I made smoked soy ginger pork tenderloins, and they were absolutely delicious. Luckily, I made two of them, because one of them we completely devoured uh, after I was done cooking it, and the other one I put in the fridge, and here it is, and I was wondering what I could do, uh, you know, for a recipe. So I came up with this recipe mainly because me and my wife are on a keto diet, and we're always looking for new ideas. Uh, we've had great success on it. We've lost quite a bit of weight. So this is an egg roll in a bowl, basically. I'm going to use the soy ginger pork tenderloin as the meat, and then I have some other ingredients here, onion, green onion, garlic, uh, ginger, sesame oil, rice vinegar, soy sauce, and then a pre-packaged coleslaw mix, which has the cabbage, the red cabbage, and the carrots. So this is a real simple recipe. You can throw everything together. You're going to be done with it within uh, you know 20 minutes to a half hour. Everything cooks in one pot, so it's a great meal for your family. If you're uh, busy working, don't have a lot of time to spend in the kitchen, this is a great recipe to try, especially if you're on a keto diet. So stick around, I'm going to show you how to make this step by step. Let's get cooking. So the first thing I wanted to show you was all the ingredients. This is probably going to take uh, the longest time, is just getting everything ready. The first thing of course is you're going to start with some kind of meat. Now, you don't have to use pork tenderloin. You don't even have to prepare it like I did. If you get a raw uh, pork tenderloin, uh, you can slice it into little cubes and saute it. Uh, you can also use uh, ground pork. You can use ground turkey. I've seen people even use ground beef. So use whatever kind of uh, meat you would like. Okay. I also have one onion here that I chopped up. I have one tablespoon of sesame oil that adds a really good flavor to it. Over here I have two tablespoons of rice vinegar, three tablespoons of soy sauce, I have uh, some green onions that I've chopped up, some minced garlic, probably around three to four cloves, <clears throat> and then of course the ginger that I've sliced up. You can use ginger powder as well. Uh, and then last but not least we have the, the coleslaw mix. Like I said, you don't have to use coleslaw. You can use a, a regular head of cabbage and then slice up some carrots as well. Uh, but this just makes it much easier. So you can prepare this in a frying pan or what I'm going to do today, I'm going to put it in a pot because it's going to be a little bit uh, easier, I think, to, uh, so it doesn't overflow and spill out of the frying pan. And like I said, everything's going to cook in one dish. It's going to be super simple. So let's go over uh, to the stove top and we'll get going cooking this. All right, so you want to heat uh, a little bit of uh, olive oil. I'm using avocado oil, some kind of oil on the bottom of your pan. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to saute the garlic, ginger, and onions. Because that's going to help uh, reduce down and give some really good flavors. Here's the one onion. We'll throw that in as well. And the ginger. We're going to saute this probably five to eight minutes just to kind of get it uh, started to soften up a little bit. All right, it's been around five minutes. You just want to stir it. You just want to get it nice and soft, kind of translucent. Man, the kitchen smells like uh, garlic and ginger. Oh, it smells so good. Just like I'm that. gonna give it another minute, couple minutes here, and uh, we'll add the other ingredients. Be back in a second. All right, here we are. This is around the perfect time. You'll see the bottom of the pan it's got some nice little uh, flavor on there. We're gonna deglaze this a little bit by adding some of our liquids. So first, we're gonna add the sesame oil. We're gonna add the soy sauce. the rice vinegar and now we're just going to stir it and kind of scrape scrape the bottom of that pan get those flavors to kind of release just like so oh man is this no good yeah you can see now the bottom's getting all 
clear again after we scrape a little bit. So I'm just going to let this simmer just for another minute or two and then we're going to add the pork. Be back in a second. Alright, here we go. Make a little room and then throw your pork in, your meat. This is already cooked perfectly, but I'm just going to saute it, try to get it coated with those spices and those flavors. Just like so. Just going to warm, give it a chance to warm up a little bit, just a couple minutes. And then we're going to add our cabbage. Alright, it's been around 3-4 minutes. You can see everything's nice and coated. Now we're going to add the cabbage with the carrots. And you know, just throw a good amount in and stir it, stir it in and you know, add a little bit more if you like it a little bit more cabbagey. And we're going to put a lid on this and we're just going to let this uh, soften up this cabbage. You know, I like it a little bit soft and coated with the flavors. And that usually takes, you know, five to ten minutes. If you like it a little bit softer, keep it on there a little bit longer. Like this. And you can always add a little bit more cabbage. It's going to reduce down a little bit. You know what, I think I'll put a little bit more cabbage in. Just like so. Oh man, it smells wonderful. And now to help that uh, cabbage soften up, just put a lid on it. Turn the heat down now from a medium simmer down to a low simmer. And uh, that's it. We'll come back in around 5-10 uh, minutes and see how it looks like. All right, it's been around 5 minutes. Let's check this out. Oh, it smells wonderful. Yeah, this is getting good. See, this is kind of the consistency. Now, you know, if you want it a little bit, uh, you can add more soy sauce if you want. What I'm going to do at this point now, is I'm going to add the green onion. I took a little bit of green onion out just because I want to uh, top it with some fresh green onion. There we go. Let's stir that in real good. And this is pretty much done. I'm just going to give it another minute or two with the lid off just to make sure everything gets nice and warm and mixed together. Oh man, look at it. It looks wonderful. So I'm going to turn it down almost, almost off. I'm just going to put the lid on it. I'm just going to give it another couple minutes and we'll serve. Alright, so here we are. This is pretty much done. Steam. Just wanted to give you guys a final look here. If you like the cabbage, you know, more crisp, take it off a little sooner. If you like it a little bit more soft, let it simmer for a few more minutes. There we go. I'm going to get this spooned into some bowls. And what I usually do is put some, like I said, some uh, green onions on top. And uh, some sesame seed, maybe a little bit of soy sauce. And then if you like a little bit of hot sauce, I'd recommend a little bit of sriracha. So, be back in one second. Alright, here we are, final product. Oh, man. It smells so good. So just put it in a bowl. You can see it right there. And then I uh, sprinkle some fresh green onions on it. You got some uh, sesame seeds. Put a few sesame seeds on top. And then I like to put a little dose of sriracha hot sauce on it. Just like so. And if you like as well, you could do the uh, Kikkoman soy sauce as well uh, to put on there if it needs to be a little bit, uh, you know, if it's dried out. All right, moment of truth. I'm going to try it and see how it is. Oh, it smells wonderful. I hope it uh, tastes as good as it smells. Here goes anything. Mmm. Oh, man. The flavors of the ginger and the garlic. A lot 
more spicy than any egg roll I've ever had, but, and of course that pork, so I shouldn't be talking with my uh, mouth full of food, but, <laughs> this is good and keto friendly. Mmm. And the best part, you can make it in one, uh, one pot, so there's not a lot of cleanup, and you know, the whole family can enjoy it. Now, if you're not on keto, you can put it on top of rice. You can put it on top of rice cauliflower if you'd like or something like that. But uh, I think with the cabbage, the meat and everything, it's just perfect. Mmm. So good. <laughs> As always, guys, I really appreciate you watching my video. If you like what you saw today, hit the like button. Please consider subscribing. Check out the link above. It's to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again. I'm going to enjoy this.